two, one, and as always, I am live. I don't think I tape anything anymore, to be honest with you. I'm mostly live. I just like doing things live better. I don't know why. I'm a live guy. That's where my biggest mistakes happen. Big Bang, Nathaniel, how are you, my friends? Big swig of water. Time to get to work. All right. All right, so without further ado, I checked in a little early, so I don't expect a lot of people to show up. But I kind of wanted to go over this whole Maximinian thing. Now, the big thing here is you get a game. Palma, how are you, my friend? You get a thing, uh, you know, you get this thing and the main characters are painted, but you get a ton of these guys and they're all gray. So, there's a couple ways you can go about it. I mean, there are a ton, and when they say minions, they are, well, basically a ton of minions. So, what do you do? Well, you try to take some shortcuts because there's so many, and you want to get them painted because, let's face it, if half the game's painted, you want to have the other other half uh, to paint. So I decided to take a look at the card. So let's take a look at this card and, and pretty much break down what, what we're going to be doing here. Now, as you can see, they're all red. So I took a, a quick shortcut. And there's a couple ways you can go about this. You can just take, if you, if you get a chance, oh, excuse me, you're going to want to get... Um, a spray can of Mephiston Red. Number one, because it goes on easy. Number two, because it is a very good paint as far as spray paints. And you can use it as your base paint, as you can see, as I've done with said Minion. Or you can paint it on, pretty much how I did with this particular mi uh, Minion. So it really comes down to wh what you prefer to do. Can't wait to see what you're going to do with these. Got my copy and I haven't decided what I want to do with them yet myself. How are you, Joe? Good to see you. Lars, good to see you. Joe, how are you? Now, let's go over a couple of things. What I did, I figured the best thing to do is to base them in the red to make it as easy as humanly possible. So what colors are we going to be using otherwise to kind of really build around this and, and do it quickly? Now, as you can see, his hands are blue, so they're kind of a light blue. And this up here is white, but we're going to do something with that. And this is going to be a two-part um, show anyways. Uh, the first part will be here uh, on my channel, and the second part is tomorrow on the Dice Tower. And that's where we're going to do a lot of the really heavy highlights. Okay, and you have silver, but it almost looks like a copper here. So you can go brass... And make the shield brass to cut some time, or you can go, you know, lead belcher for both, and uh, pretty much keep it at that. So we'll try them both on. We'll see how they look. The eyes, they are. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to paint those white, but then we're going to take a glaze and go over those eyes. So you'll see what exactly what we're up to. Jen, how are you, my friend? Joe, how are you? Glad to have everybody here. Okay, so why don't we get started, and I'll show you how quickly you can do this. And that's, I think, the biggest fear is you open up that box, and you see 9,000 of these guys. So the first thing we're going to take is our first paint, which is a bad on black. Let me make sure that I don't have the auto on. Hold on. Okay, no auto focus. Perfect, because that just really messes with everybody's mind. And we're not here to send you... Uh, anything with so many minis, does it really matter if you use silver or copper? Well, it depends. You know, for some people, they want to play the game a certain way. You know, it depends what looks better. You know what I mean? That's the way I see it. You can use copper, you can use silver, you can use whatever you want. Yeah, you, you know, it, it's your model. You you paint it the way you want it. All right. Don't mind the disc here. It's just to keep me centered in the camera. Now, what I like to do here is we're going to take our bat on black. Now, we don't have to be really neat here, but sometimes it just doesn't hurt to be a little neat. 
See how we just kind of smush that in there, even though we get around the edges? Because we're going to paint those anyway, so who cares? So you just start motoring through these guys. And that's what we want to do. So we want to motor through these guys. And you'll see what I'm talking about. You're just taking your paint. And you're painting the inside of their face area black. Pretty easy, right? Did I decide to leave myself enough room? No, of course not. Because I also have that <laughs> War Quest stuff still out here. Which I was just kind of working on a little bit. And like I said, you don't have to be neat here. You really kind of just want to get things where you want to get them. And you see how quickly we're just doing this. And you want to do these in a kind of... Um, lineup order where you just you take one color and as boring as it may sound just motor through it now you see there's different poses here so there's certain things that even this you can just you don't have to worry about it because we're painting over all that area and that's the thing that you try to plan out where you can paint the quickest the easiest and the fastest uh, I think I would go silver, but hit the edges with, blonde, uh, with a bronze glaze. <sighs> yeah, call me next year when you get that done, if, you, if you're going to get that fancy. <laughs> you know, if you really want to get into it, you can. You can really take some time on these guys. But my thought is, I want to get the basic, you know, I want to show people how to do this the most basic way possible for the guy that just doesn't paint. You know, you pay for $75 for a game. It comes with four of those minis that are painted up real nice, and then you just got a big bunch of gray globs. Yeah, they washed them. Um, great. What good's a wash if there's no paint on the wash? I don't know. Uh, Night Goblin, how are you, my friend? Joe, I just read your email. I will respond to you tomorrow, by the way. And uh, I've got a few things I want to bring up with you. Joe, are you going to the BBG, by the way? Uh, board Game Geek uh, Con. Because I think you're out of Texas anyways. Or you guys. And we're just motoring through these guys. Uh, true, it's about quantity. Yeah, you really, you know, when, when you got nine, I, I don't, I think there's like 104 of these guys. So, you, you know, you just, I don't know if you'll ever use 104 in the game. But I guess we're going to find out very quickly. Because this is going to be Saturday night's game. Sunday, I think it's going to be Betrayal. How, uh, the Betrayal Hill game or whatever the heck that game is. I haven't. We haven't decided which terrifying game we're going to play. Uh, true. It's about quantity. Fair enough. For a new person, it would help if you only use five or six different colors. No fancy stuff. That's why I'm doing this in two parts. I'm going to show you how to just do the basic stuff. And then tomorrow, we're going to go over really highlighting them. And how quick that can be, too. But I just want people to get this to the table the way they want to get it to the table. And I'm sure it would be nice if the, everybody's copy was nice and painted. Uh, Tom put this in his top 100 games. I talked to him today. Uh, R, R -E -B -G, are you going to hook up with ham tag guys? No, I would never hook up with the ham tag guys. I have nothing to say about the ham tag guys. I don't even know what a ham tag guy is. I'll let you know we're still... In, oh, you're in St. Louis, Missouri. I'm sorry. Yeah, let me know if you go, Joe. You guys are going to have a booth there. Spoiler alert.
Okay, so as you can see, we're just doing these these black little dots here, and uh, yeah, Joe, I got a bunch of stuff I got to talk to you about that I came up with in my head. So I will write it all down tomorrow. You know, at one, at some point, we should exchange phone numbers and talk. To be honest with you, we write each other so much. And everybody should thank Joe for doing that contest, and congratulations to the two winners. Uh, you know, they didn't have to do it. They just did a really great job with that. And I was really, everybody was really impressed with, uh, with the Hamtack, Bart, Greg, uh, they used to do war games for the DT before going out on their own. Oh, well, they don't do them anymore. There's a new sheriff in town. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know who they are, and I, to be honest with you, I really try to keep to myself. As far as other YouTubers are concerned, uh, it happens that the Dice Tower guys are my friends, so I do stuff with them. Uh, I like Joel. Joel and I have had some nice conversations, well, not conversations, some good emails between each other. And that's, um, under, not the, und uh, Barry Reynolds is another nice guy. We, I did an interview with him on his channel. He turned out to be a nice guy. Other than that, I really don't bother with anybody. I really just try to focus on this channel here and this community. Uh, that's what I'm trying to grow. And, uh, you know, if I see somebody, you know, I'll be nice to him. I've seen Rodney. Rodney knew who I was, so that was kind of shocking. But uh, I think he knows me mostly from the Dice Tower. He seemed like a very nice guy. I, I uh, met I met a lot of these guys at a, well, what the heck was the thing? A Gen Con. You know, like I said, I really do keep to myself. My, my focus is... You know, to grow this channel organically, I want to stay involved. As long as I'm doing this channel, I'd like to do stuff for the Dice Tower. Too many people, I think, use the Dice Tower. And uh, they think they're going to become famous from it. And then they try to strike out on their own. I personally, they're friends of mine. I enjoy working with them. Sam and I are a team. And uh, we really work well together. And uh, I would like, as long as I'm doing this, I'd like to keep that relationship. Or as long as they're doing their thing and want me to, too, I'd like to keep that relationship. I enjoy that relationship. I'm an administrator on the Dice Tower. Not, not very many people. I think it's just me and Chaz, to be honest with you. You know, when we want to do something, we have rights to do something. You know, we've earned it. We've, we've you know, we've been there. We've worked hard. We, you know, you know, we we really put the dice tower as one of our main things. Okay, so there you go. How long did that take? That took what, ten minutes to do? It's a good community. Great job, Rob. Keep it up. Well, thank you, Joe. So after we lost the baby a month ago, it's official. My wife is pregnant again. Well, that's that's wonderful to hear, my friend. That, that's wonderful to hear, and, and we're really glad, and I'll keep you guys in my prayers. I hope if there's anything that you need here or anything that we can do, I just want you to know that we'll be here for you all the way. I'm sure everybody here has their prayers, or, you know, it doesn't matter what God or religion you believe in. There's some something or someone or something whether it's a rock or a spirit, that you can at least ask for a little help or have some hope. So, not to talk on religious things, I just basically think that if we all just do the best we can, we can. Board Game Renegade, that's my boy too. Did you watch Ch Ta Chaz's Top 100? That guy's an entertainer. No, I'm, I don't watch... Uh, I'll, I'll watch a couple of people, you know, when people start 
making fun of somebody or something like that, um, I'll go watch it. Wife says, I can't tell any friends or family, so I'm telling my own family. There you go. I'm glad to hear it. We're very happy for you. I'll tell the queen of the known universe. There's one woman that, that will pray her brains out for everybody. She does. Hello, Rob. Got my copy of Mechs and Minions just today. Can't wait to play this on Sunday. Game day at a local store. Um, oh, like I said, um, I, 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 um, Chad's a good guy. I got to spend some time with him. I just, you know, every, everybody loves him to death, so I don't watch a lot of his stuff. And it's not because he's so popular. It's because I'm, I'm glad he's doing well. Um, it's when people start in with, with other people like, um, oh, the pinup girl there, um, uh, board game, when they start with board game theater, when I know Kevin as a, as a human being, uh, just a wonderful guy, when, when, uh, they start with a, a bunch of other people, I, I just can never understand that. Why attack people say, you know. If you skip over, uh, you know, people's segments, that's fine. But you don't need to announce it and hurt people. People really try to put a lot of thought into these segments. And I, I just think it's 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 pretty hurtful. Speaking of which, Board Game Renegade does a great segment. I, I enjoy his every week uh, for the Throat Punch Lunch. Okay, so let's get back to business here, all right? So... Now that we got got these guys kind of right where we want to, let me get a couple of these guys in focus here. So you got a couple of different poses here, all right? And we've got one guy hiding behind a shield, and we got another guy swinging an axe, another guy with a, you know, doing whatever and so forth and so on. So I love your precision attitude, Rob. Thanks so much. Thank you. Rob, did you know uh, if the Queen has sent out PayPal for the T-shirt yet? I think I sent the needed info, but hadn't seen the payment request yet. No hurry, just wondering. Uh, the Queen of the Known Universe will be working on that actually Friday. Uh, she's off on Friday, so we have a ton of of um, T-shirt requests. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get it all together, bill it all out. Uh, Saturday, we go down and see the t-shirt guy with the dogs, <laughs> and uh, we'll put it in, they'll make them, and then uh, we'll we'll get them out right away. So, uh, expect to see that probably Friday, Saturday, somewhere in there. We'll give the poor girl a little br uh, um, rest. Yeah, and, 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 and do me a favor, everybody, go check out and, and subscribe to his uh, website, Board Game Renegade. I, I checked it out. I subscribed. I really, really like what, what, what a positive attitude. I mean, I wish I, I was good in front of the camera the way he is. But I'm getting there. It's a growth process. Okay, so let's get back to the task at hand, or we are never going to get, get these done for you guys. All right, so, so the next logical thing would be, is to go after the silver. I, th I think I'm going to go with the silver here. All right, so we're going to get that in here. And the reason I want to do the silver first is because if I miss and get it on the hands, it's not a big deal. Okay, and if I go over. Goodbye, Mimi. Okay. My daughter is going over to watch her grandmother. I'm going to spend some time with her grandmother. All right, so let's move these guys. These, This is going to be pretty quick. And you want to get yourself a decent size brush. Maybe I want to go a little bit bigger than that. Because I want to cover area quickly, but I don't want to mess things up either. So, sometimes I'll use two brushes at the same time. Like in this case, I think I just might do that. But let's, let's see how this one works out first. So, let's give it a go. Just because I don't appreciate someone's contribution doesn't mean someone else might. Uh, might. There's enough room for everyone in this hospital. Yeah, I, I agree with that, Neutral. I, uh, you know, there there's segments that I don't care for. I mean, honestly, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I don't care for a couple segments. But I would never say that. I would, you know, I keep it to myself. You know, basically because it's just not my cup of tea. 
you know, you, you can't like everything. But there's somebody's out, out there that, and so, you know, take like Joshua. You know what? A lot of people don't like the way I paint. That's fine. I'm fine with that. But a little boy did. And that's what I do this for, is the people that do. Now, watch what I'm doing here. See how I'm just kind of working? I'm going to work the edges here. And when I work the edges, that's the easiest thing to do because then you could just fill things in. And watch how quickly this all comes together. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. Just like that. And then we turn that shield around. And if you notice here, we can get a little bit messy here. And that's fine because this whole thing just kind of works into his thing here. Now this is where it's going to be a little time consuming. It depends on how, how detailed you want to get. You know, what are you going for? What are you looking to accomplish? I mean, I just, whoop, I want to drop them and, and do that. Exactly. And I'm going to work this up front here. And then let's see how this looks. And this is the thing that is going to take a little bit of time. But eventually, once you get going and once you get in a rhythm, it won't take any time at all. If you use the side of your brush, you could probably bang it out pretty quickly. And we can do this too. Bink, 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 bink. So there you go. That's all we wanted to do. Oh, I forgot to get the... I just want that. Always turn the miniature around a little bit. And make sure you got everything. And this brush seems pretty good, so we're going to go with it for a while. Here we go. So, boom. Mini. So, let's put them over here. Now, it doesn't look like anything yet. That's the best part. It doesn't look like anything like that. Uh, just tuned in. Did you start by spraying the red base coast? That is correct, Mr. Finley. And how are you, my friend? Now, this doesn't look like anything yet, and 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 that's okay because we're going to really try to get this all together. Now, here, what we're going to do is we're going to get the gloves, and if we go over a little bit, that's okay. We're going to come over the edge here, and I have this upside down, and I apologize because of the way I got to look at it. All you want to do is take that edge of that brush. There we go. There we go. And work those edges. Now, a lot of times I tell you to start in the middle. But if you have the edge of the brush here, because the way the sharp lines dictate here, you don't have to worry about getting it on his hands because we're going to go over that. So if you paint over his hands, that's okay. And because he's holding on to that, you may want to do all these at once. You know, the certain poses at once. So, you, you know, you feel a good rhythm to it. It's really going to be up to you. Now, you don't even have to do these shoulder blades if you don't want to. I just feel like doing them. I don't know why. I'm going to do a couple at least. The main thing here is to just get that paint on there. Because the wash is really going to sell this. Because that's... Now, when you take it out of the box, you'll see how the wash really got into the recesses and really did a nice job. Well, it's also going to darken up some of the things that we're working on here. So, let's put that down. Zoop. And we can zip right through these here. Uh, I may attempt this when I get my copy. 100 mini seems intimidating, though. Nah. It's easy. Just work one color at a time. Did you ever try to airbrush minis? It seems complicated. Nah, it's pretty easy, actually. Airbrushing is pretty easy. The problem is, and the thing that people run into, is knowing the consistency of the paint. You know, and it's got to really be watered down. It really does. And that's the key point right there, is watering down 
your paints and cleaning if you keep your airbrush clean it'll work for you and do a lot of really neat things there's a lot of minis that I can I just airbrush boom 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 do a little shading with it and then I'm done As you see here I'm just gonna go cover some of these areas here nice and easy just take our time we're in no rush but there's a lot of different poses here and some are easier than others but the main thing is that you just take your time now the silver seems pretty nice but why don't we mix it up a little bit after all this is my copy so it doesn't matter what I do with it and uh, I'm not too worried about how I get this on the handles or on the hands and stuff like that because basically what counts here is that I am just kind of working this around here and these guys it's simple it's going to be a little time consuming this part everything else is going to be fun the shading and all that stuff all right boom all right let's put this guy away another one of these guys so let's see why don't we do this why don't we try a different color and see if it looks a little bit better well here's the thing do we go with copper axes maybe yeah why not let's let's just see how they look and then we'll decide which one looks better with the red so i had already pulled out some brass scorpion and I'm going to shake that up real good. Open that up. And let's see if this is better. And we'll just go over this. It might be too much with the red. But there's only one way to figure it out. And that's to do it. If you're going to do something, do it. Try it. Be a little dangerous. And get that in there. There we go. And we're going to come over here. Or you can mix the copper and the silver. That's not a horrible idea either. But for us, we want to keep it simple. I want to make this simple so everybody just grabs it and takes a shot at it. You really need to take a shot at this. And this is an easy paint. This is. It's just a little time consuming. That's all. But it's something you can do in, in sections. You know, you don't have to do them all because I don't think you need them all for each and every game. I can't imagine that many minions being out on the board. But then again, I haven't read the rules yet either. I didn't see Tom's playthrough. I told him that today too. I go, uh, Tom, is this game any good? I didn't, I didn't see it yet. I haven't had time. <laughs> too busy painting my, uh, you know, doing my own stuff. And he said it's one of his top games. So let's take a look. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? How hard is the maintenance on an airbrush equipment? Uh, that's what keeps me away from it. It's not hard at all. It really isn't. Did you ever try? Uh, it's it's really not hard at all, to be honest with you. So what do you guys think of that? Do you like the copper better? Or the brass? Or... Let's let's bring out the same guy. Where does the silver work better? It's a pretty good question. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. All right, let's do one more. No? Hmm. Get over there, buddy. So, well, let's see. 
if you wanted to I think you could really shortcut it a lot by just doing the face area with and not doing the shoulder blades that might be a home run and that might save you guys some time too all right because after all these guys were just gray at one point all right yeah we'll do this we'll go up here what's really going to make these guys come out a bit is when i do the white headdress and you'll see what i'm talking about and well, we can just keep it kind of simple here because we're going to use I think we're going to use a null oil on this and that's really going to help bring this out a bit mm -hmm. see this is just easy peasy once you get a feel for it well, let's take a look at this guy possibly silver right now uh, hold on. Silver looks better. Evening shade and see nemesis. Yeah, silver, silver, silver. I like the bronze. <laughs> Shield bronze weapon silver. Yeah, I think you're right there. Silver right now. Not I think that with the blue armor, the bronze one will look a little better in the end. Yeah, well, well, you know, we'll mess around with it. We'll we'll see what we do. Uh, what was the red base coat? Just a spray primer? Uh, no, actually, I used uh, very expensive. Well, it, it's about 14 bucks a thing, but it's worth it for something like this because of the detail. Um, here, let me get it. There we go. I went with this. I had I had some left. From doing a bunch of space hulk so i said oh this would be perfect for it and it's a good quality it goes on it doesn't do any of that sticky stuff agrath earth shade works well on the bron brass bronze as it's a muddy shade i agree um i was thinking of doing that too uh i think i'm going to go with the silver i actually think because i can actually highlight it up a bit and I can actually just highlight the brass up a bit, too. So I'm gonna, we're, we're going to mess with both of them. So why not? Let me push those guys off to the side. And let's get a couple more of these guys to do up here. And what time is it? Yeah. We've been on for, oh, God, 16 minutes. And I've talked most of it. So there you go. There you go. So you can see how quickly these guys go. We did all the black faces, and now, and now we're just doing. We're going to do a bunch of these guys. We want them to dry, so we're going to take and get that on there. And let's get his shield all painted up. So let's make sure that I'm in in range here. And. I'm not worried about getting his hand right now because we're going to be painting over that, aren't we? Let's get that up and going. Let's go with his shield here. Um, we'll go over the edges here. What's going to really bring this out is really good shade. All right. There we go. Take the point back here, come back here a bit. Once you get this, this stroke down, this is going to be easy. Once you get that stroke down, that's what's going to really, really, it'll speed everything up. And you could do these guys probably with this particular color in an hour, hour and a half tops. You know, you just, you'll fly through it. 
Of course, you'll go back and you'll see a couple that you'll miss some areas and stuff like that because that happens because repetition. You'll forget something. But already switching colors, I've done three, six, nine. All right, let's do this guy. We're just going to keep on going until those other guys dry, and then we're going to move on to the next color because I want you guys just to see the basic, basic paint job on these guys and how this will all fit together. And then tomorrow we'll do we're going to do it all over again on the dice tower so everybody understands what what's going on here. Bath time for the kitties. I'll be sure to watch when you post this. Thanks, Rob. Good night, all. Good night, Ryan. I will say that the Army Painter has a lot more primer colors than GW. Yeah, well, if you want to use, you know, don't don't you don't have to um, use the exact primer I used. Well, primer. Uh, color I used I just uh I particularly liked that color or that shade I thought it fit what we were trying to do but if you have an army painter spray that will and it'll probably be a little bit cheaper to be honest with you you know by by about three or four bucks you know if you want to use an army builder please do by all means now uh, I want to talk to everybody while I got you guys here Sam and I have just put up some things for battling brushes for the Jack Vassal Memorial auction on, yes, BGG. And we are going to be bringing it old school. Uh, we are doing Blood Bowl, the new Blood Bowl. So if you want to bid on that, help a great cause, you can. I can tell you this much, though. You are going to like what we're going to do with the Blood Bowl. Sam would probably take the orcs. Sam's a very big orc guy. But uh, we're also doing Guild Ball on there. And we will be doing Wrath of Kings. So those are the upcoming board game breakfasts. Not board game breakfast. Uh, the, boy, come on, Rob. you got to do a better job selling it. Um, that is going to be the battling brushes for the next... For the next three episodes or or series, it's going to be Wrath of Kings, Blood Bowl, and Guild Ball. So, if you're interested in any of those games, any news when Blood Bowl will be? I believe it is three weeks. Good night, Lars. Lori, how are you? Missed the beginning... Uh, did Rob take? Did Rob take of the wash or just paint? I painted right over it. Painted right over it, Sean. Sean, how are you, by the way? All right, let's go. Yeah. Uh, so uh, if you get a chance, go check out the Jack Vassal Memorial Auction on the BBG. I'm trying to paint here as well as talk. Sometimes that's not the easiest thing to do. But hey, I'm going to give it the old college try here. Again, I can be a little messy here because I'm painting over all this. Don't have to be dead on. I'm just wondering. I'm going to continue to paint these shoulder pads. Because that is could be a time consuming thing. I'm going to really cut into some of, the of the, some of the painting. But hey, let's do it the right way. All right. Let's go all the way. All right. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just got to be near perfect. All right. It just has to be near perfect. 
Doing good, Rob. I have to drive into town and grab my MVM package. Oh, cool. Very good. Great system and wonderful sculpts. Yeah, they are. Uh, I put some items up on uh, JBMF auction as well. Cool. Wrath, Wrath of Kings is a favorite of mine. Underappreciated game. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna paint that up and we're gonna give it a go. We're gonna try to give it some ex uh, exposure. Uh, what type of brush am I using? I am just using a generic nylon brush, believe it or not. It's just one that I have a good feel with right now, and uh, I'm I'm enjoying using it. Plain and simple. Especially on this. Yeah, I'll switch on and off. Just depends what I feel like using that day. I use a lot of different brushes. I use Army, uh, the uh, Army Painter brushes. They're nice. I like those. They're comfortable. I like the Windsor Smiths ones. Just, I'm all over the place. Oh, you know what came out today? I just remembered. Didn't uh, Throw Punt Lunt come out today? No, oh, I didn't even check it. Huh. Maybe I should have. That's on me. Me and my boy Sam. Looking forward to seeing him next week. And it, more than likely, that'll be my roommate at uh, BBG. BGG. I don't know why I call it BBG. Oh, God, we laughed so hard. I think we drove poor Tom nuts. I felt so bad for him. Because we were memeing everything. I'm sure we'll make a disaster out of this one, too. All right. On these edges, you just use the edge of your brush. Boom, boom, boom. Green giant. All right, let's let some of those dry, and then we'll go back and, and, and we'll start toying with some things so you guys can see. Windsor, yeah, Windsors are, are amazing. Yes, he did. What brush are you? Yes, he did. Uh, great. I'm just making sure I keep up with all the things, unless it's been confirmed and I missed it. Hence, our pre-orders November unconfirmed at the moment. Yes, that is true. Um, but I believe that I know the exact date. I don't believe that I'm at liberty to say. Because it was one of the things that we were trying to plan out when we were deciding what we were going to do with the Jack Bassel Memorial Fun there. So, oh, oh, oh. There we go. Sorry I picked that up and I never brought it back down. Jeez. Nice. I think I can find a better brush though. I don't know why. I've got my box of the unholy here. I'm just gonna stick with what I'm using. Stick what got you to the dance. Alright. Let's get back to work here. Let's get back to work here. Uh, let's see. Uh, this weekend, uh, we are doing War Quest. Now, I don't know if any of you guys have seen all the War Quest stuff I did. Um, we're looking forward to it. Talked to Don, uh, uh, Tom about the game today. Got his thoughts on it. But I'm going to save that for him to reveal to you guys. How's that? I'm not a spoiler. I do bleed the dice tower through and through. And, uh, boy, we got our big drawing coming up November 4th. That's a, that's a week from Friday, folks. We give away 
a ton of stuff. I'm very excited about it. And if you are not a patron, you're going to want to be when you see some of this stuff. It's not, oh, we're going to give away one really cool game and we're going to decide which one to give away. No, we are giving away lots of cool games. I'm already working on the December list, which is going to be another awesome giveaway. I wish I could win some of the stuff. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm fine. I got more stuff than uh, we've got more stuff that we need to play and paint. That's what I'm really getting into. Uh, on the dice tower, I'm thinking of doing a paint through of the starter box of All Quiet on the Martian Front. I think that'll be neat because what I really want to do with that segment is make it a two parter. And I want to show you how the things go together, and then I want to show you how easy it is to paint that stuff. And how much fun you'll have with that. And then, you know, we've already established that the game's amazing. So, there you go. Now, these guys with the overhead axes are pretty good. Are you getting paint straight from the pot or using a palette? When are you are painting, when you are painting this many models at once, is it easier just to use a thicker paint sometimes? But I'm using a palette. It's off to the side here. And I put a little water on it. And I just start painting. It's off to the side here. And we're just doing pretty good here. Isn't that what we're trying to do anyways? Are you going back to tank soon? I finally just able to pick up a star, a few starters. Yeah, um, I've been painting a lot of tanks off camera. I think you guys would be surprised to see uh, how big my German army is, as well as the Americans, the British. And I've been adding an infantry because we are actually thinking of doing some bolt action. Uh, I spoke to somebody very nice from uh, Osprey. They seen that we did um, oh, Escape from Colditz. And uh, they're supposed to um, send me an email as far as what I need to get going on the entry level of um, bolt action. So I'm kind of curious about that. And uh, I've been painting away. I've also been doing a lot of Napoleonics, believe it or not, off camera, because I've been having a lot of problems sleeping lately. Um, I've, I've actually thought about just <laughs> putting on the camera, and if anybody was there, that's great, and just doing a segment like at 3.30 in the morning. But um, usually by then, I'll just do something for about a half hour, get up and head to the gym. Because I also am getting ready for, like I said, uh, we've got a big uh, lifting meet, uh, power lifting meet, where I'm going to try to break my records. And we'll see if we can get it done. Alright. Another dude done. I'm letting these guys dry a little bit too. Bolt action looks interesting to me too. Uh, that doesn't mean I am painting. So, if my paints on the palette start to gain skin, does it mean I am painting too slowly, or should I get a wet palette? Eh, probably just, you could add water too. You could do either. I'd probably be awake. <laughs> um, a lot of times, you just got too much paint on there. Just, just cut down uh, the paint. It's easier to add paint than it is to take away paint. And what I usually do, I just put a little on there, mix a little water in with it real quick. You could use a wet palette. I don't like to use a wet palette. I'm going to have, 
you know, it doesn't really make a difference when I'm, I'm speed painting like I am now. What time do we got? Okay, good. We are doing very well here. All right, so this is going to be the last of the silver guys. And then we're going to go back, and I'm going to just show you guys a couple quick things. And we're going to just kind of come up with a game plan here for these guys. And I do have a pretty extensive game plan. So remember, this is just doing the basic stuff tonight. All right, tomorrow we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to shade these guys a bit. All right, because that way it'll bring out a lot of things, and I think it'll be really really kind of cool. All right, up there and through there and. Like that, come up through there. There we go. He's good there. He's good there. Yep. Yeah. All right. So I got 36, 9, 12, 15. All right. So in a half hour, 15:30. Yeah. And that's because I'm talking most of the way. So that's not too bad. All right. So. Oh, I dropped a stupid paper towel. I hate when I drop stuff. I really do. It's the most irritating thing ever. Come on. There we go. Don't want to knock all those dwarves down that I did. All right, so. Now, next color. Very simply. Um, let's go with the white. I'm going to go with the white, and I'm going to show you why we use white first, and there's a reason. Did you ever get to try coal, uh, cold zits again? Oh, and 2. You still need revenge on the cheetah. Now, uh, Janice is back, so we're going to try two-player. I'm going to try to put the pressure on him, because, we, of course, he cheated, because we found out that one of the rules that we were using, we did it wrong. So, you know, as usual, it's Justin at his best. I'll tell you that, kid. All right, so now, this is when we got to be a little bit careful. So we want to take and get that white. And I'm using white for a reason here. There is a reason here, my friends. And we just want to get that on there. There we go. And then, very carefully, there's a, some eyes. And all I want to do is just... Now this brush... This brush ain't going to do it. And this brush ain't going to do it for this next step. So I'm going to change brushes here real quick. This is just good for doing tight areas, but not super tight areas. So I want to be able to move, but I want to be able to juke too. Hmm. All right, let's go with that. Uh, it's too thick. I need a little more control. All right, let's try that. All right, so grab another guy here. And we'll get a good amount of paint. And there we go. See, that feels a lot better. Oh, did I do that off camera? I apologize. 
We're just taking the light. Taking the light. Being careful now. See, this is when you got to get a little tedious here. Use the edge. All right, now his eyes here. Uh, try to get as close as you can. And okay. That's good. That's good. Sometimes I think doing the eyes first will help. There we go. That's better. And then come with the light. Oops. Over the top. Through there. And the reason that we're using a white instead of, you know, if you notice that card, it kind of looked bluish. Because we're going to put a glaze over this white. And that's really going to be the selling point there. Uh, here we go. And then just tickle that in there. If you notice, I'm just taking my time. You don't think about how many guys you got, and you just kind of, oop, there you go. Simple as that. Uh, Justin is definitely going to have to get Harder time splitting the guards to cover both. It. Yeah. Uh, that game's hard, and I like it. I like it. I like that it's hard. Uh, for me, I like games that are very, very hard like that. Um, it's just me. What can I tell you? All right. So, again, eyes first. There we go, and then into our headdress here. And this is just, you know, taking your time. And you can see they just kind of come together somehow. And it's not hard. It's an easy paint. It's nothing complicated, and you know, it makes it makes a world of difference how these guys look when you go play them. It really does. You know, you're not looking at gray, gray globs. Instead, now you're looking at red globs. Put the eyes in. And then the white piece, hair piece there. And there's just a lot of neat little things here that we can do. Let me make this stand out. Once you get in that good pattern, you're just going to be fine. You're going to be absolutely fine. What time have we got? Good. Alright. Take another guy here. And paint all that up. We're actually looking forward to playing this. I know Janice is like jacked because she is a big League of Legends fan. She really enjoys the whole mythos and so forth and so on. Her and, her, her and Mimi have, have t-shirts and all kinds of other accessories.
And as you see, we're just going to paint that headdress. Trying to get a couple different ones on here. So you guys can see what's going on here. There we go. And it's... Oh, hold on. Would those sharp, painty work with those eyes? Yeah, absolutely. But believe it or not, they have little outlines. That That's all you got to do is just drop the white in there. Boom. Just make sure you got a sharp point on your brush. And it's actually pretty easy. I'll do it again. The little lines here. So all I do is just go... Whoop. And then on the other side, you can see where it's lined. And it just kind of fits in there. Piece of cake. Let's do this guy. So we have a different variants of all our our guys here. I mean, you don't even have to paint all these guys because I don't believe all of them come flying out, or maybe they do. Has anybody played this yet? And that's what I like to know. I mean, do they all just come flying out at you? I mean, you got like a hundred of them on the table at once. All right. We're just going to go here and here. Oh, made a mistake, but that's okay. So we fix mistakes, don't we? Yes, we do. We know how to fix mistakes. I see even I make mistakes. Not that that's a big shocker. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah, those, uh, yeah. Those, I mean, those, those spots, you know, you're going to make mistakes no matter whether you got the pen or, or what. It's just one of those things. And you got to be able to just get it done move on and it's all good heck I've made plenty of mistakes especially painting oh that cat moved the table All right, so let's try this again. There's one eye. There's the other eye. Perfect. All right, so we're going to close up the white now. And we're going to move on to his hands. And this is just a very, very simple paint job. I mean, you can actually just do this and you'd be good enough. Before I forget, let me just uh, fix that little mistake I made. There it is. Come here, son. And just like that, it's fixed. Boom. See how quick that was? Hi, third mission, you have 60 or 70 out on the board. At least that's what happened for, okay, for us. Okay, cool. I'll make sure I have 60 or, 60 or 70 out, out ready. <laughs> 60 or 70 out at the board at once. Wow, that's like brutal. Okay, I could do that. I can do that. I think uh, I think we're going to do missions one and two. Uh, how long do each missions take? Yeah, it sounds like just like our zombie side games. Yes, it does. Okay, now I'm going to take a Holt blue because it's a nice light blue, and I can always darken it up. So that's that's a good thing here. And we're going to work on some of these hands that we were talking about so let's uh, let's go back here start with the the guy that we tried the gold 
with. We'll give him a shot here. Alright. And you can see where his hands work. And this actually kind of goes really, really well because it kind of gives a little color that is needed on this model. You need a little contrast in here. If it's all red, it kind of kind of dulls the actual model down a bit. So just painting these hands will do a lot. So see how that hand just kind of brings things out a bit. Uh, and they'll really shine on this particular model. That's where his hand starts. Now when you put your wash on, you're going to have to be a little careful. Because it might mess with the blue. Well, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't affect it that much. Because you could just dry brush over it. Now you see how that See how that all just kind of pops out a little bit? And for a lot of people, that would just be perfect. I mean, that would be fine just the way it is. And you can call it, you know, you'd be able to call it a day right there and there. But not us. That's not the way we roll. Let me make sure. Yep. See, even that guy. That makes a lot of sense right there. Painting the minions. Oh, that's a lot. You're a beast. I do try. I do try. I try to take all the fear out of everything for you guys. I try to lay it all out so you guys can see it. And, you know, I'm really taking my time here. So, you know, instead of just doing what I normally do, and that's breeze through everything. You know, I'm talking, I'm stopping. You know, if you guys get focused in, I really think that you guys can really, really do a number on these. Look at that. See? And if that's all you wanted to do with them, they would be perfect. They'd be fine. They'd be fine. This guy's only got one hand. Can't be that hard, right? Can't be that hard with one hand. And you just come up in here. And you can see. Really, just getting his hand painted makes a big difference. Makes a big difference in the model. You know, I just can't see you guys playing with gray pieces. You know what I mean? Why not add a little fire to it? I mean, they went to all the trouble to make those really, really nice heroes. Don't you think the bad guys deserve a little love, too? I was playing with my kids, six and eight years old. So it's not a good indicator, but I'd say hour, hour and 30 minutes all, at most. Oh, good. Okay. That's perfect. That's that's perfect taping time uh, usually we don't like to go two three hours and we've had a few games that have done that but but uh, some of them were actually really good that we went long on I know one particular that outpost one was probably one of my favorites when we screwed Justin over boom just like that folks that's all it takes. Just a little bit of love. And then we're going to come here. And boom. And of course we'll do another hand thing. And I'm just going to keep these basic. I'm going to keep these basics because tomorrow 
where we're going to go over talking about the basic on the dice tower because first of all we'll have a bigger audience and number two uh, I really want to show everybody everything all at once this was just to kind of give some of you beginners some of the beginners a kind of quick look here and then tomorrow we'll really really hammer it home like I can even though I didn't finish any of these guys eh, I'll leave that at that so let's take a look at what we did so far so in an under an hour what is it uh, 753 exactly all right so what did we do we painted the black on their face we tried the copper we also tried the silver whoops hold on hold on okay there we go we tried the copper we tried the silver okay we added the white headdress okay we added their eyes which was pretty simple and then we added their blue hands now if that's all you wanted to do that would be perfect you'd still be able to play it and have a good time okay which is very important here okay let's just bring a couple more of these guys in here we'll bring another dude here bring a guy here and just kind of give you guys a good feel for it let me pull it back a little bit so it stays in focus so that would be good, but we're going to take this a little bit farther. Hey, Rob, did you ever do a vid videos on how to take care of your brushes? Uh, I did one on board game breakfast. Uh, I think I'm going to do another one. I'm going to, I'm going to do something uh, probably next week, not this week. Um, Lewis, okay, he said that. Okay, boom, 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 boom. Great. Okay, so as you see... We got these right where we want them. And if you wanted to play with them, that would be fine. But I'm going to put a wash over these. I'm also going to I'm going to use a glaze on these. And we're going to do that tomorrow on the Dice Tower. So I hope all of you will join me tomorrow on the Dice Tower at 7 o'clock where I'll have all these guys painted and ready to go. And we're just going to blow through them. We're going to talk a, a little bit how to get these guys where they are. And then we will go a little farther and we will take it to the next step. And I think you guys will really enjoy what we can do with these guys. You know, uh, I think there's like a hundred, hundred of these guys. And I really, really think that painting them would really enhance your game. And it, it's a real simple paint job. And if you saw, there was nothing complicated that we did. There was nothing really detailed that we went crazy with. And like I said, this as a basic paint job the way it is now is good enough it's good enough for you to go with tomorrow we're going to take it a little further we're going to go a little farther with it and i think you'll enjoy uh enjoy seeing what i've got planned so as always thank you all so much for tuning in i hope to see you tomorrow on the dice tower seven o'clock uh as we are going to be detailing and painting once again more minions and mechs until tomorrow i'm rob orn and we will see you soon thank you so much for watching guys